and welcome to video number three. In this video, we're going to talk about all the different options that you have in the Zoom app. So you can navigate around, you can use them to engage with the content that you're watching. All right, so let me show a presentation because it's much easier because there you can actually see what I'm seeing or what you will be seeing when you're in a meeting. And I call this the Zoom sightseeing tour because um, imagine for a moment, it's all those important little sites that we're going to visit and I wanna make sure that you know how they work. So the first button is the unmute mute button, which I already talked about in the previous video. This is uh, what you use if you wanna say something, you wanna contribute, but also one button that you're probably gonna leave on mute for most of the meeting if somebody else is presenting, especially if you have background noise like uh, fire trucks going by, dogs barking, kids playing, make sure that you're on mute and you're not disrupting the meeting for others. Um, the next button is all about the video. I also talked about that previously. So. I love as a presenter, as a facilitator, if people have their video on because it really helps me feel more connected to them. Plus it also facilitates the connections between all the participants. So I always encourage everyone, leave your video on as uh, much as possible, but also, of course, if you need to run to the washroom or if there is something that you don't want people to see that is happening in your space, like your wife coming in and checking and uh, changing your kid's diaper, you can, of course, turn off your video. Um, and this is the button where you do it. The next thing is super exciting. This is the participants panel. So once you click this button, it will actually show you a few things, how you can engage with the speakers. So once you click that button, it will show, because as you can kind of just see, uh, it will put this little bar on the side of your screen. And as a little pro, pro tip, if you are not in full screen mode in Zoom, this will neatly dock to the side. If you're in full screen mode, it will be floating around on top of what you're seeing. And I just love having it kind of neatly organized on the side. So just leave full screen and then it will show up here. And on the bottom, you should be seeing this raise hand button. Uh, I think actually in the newest version, it's just a blue hand that you can click. And this is really important when we're doing something like a Q and A and we wanna know who has a question, you can raise your hand. Um, there's also some other buttons that sometimes show up here that have a yes, no, uh, faster, slower, a little coffee symbol. So keep an eye out for those if the speaker or the presenter asks you to use them. This is where you find them. Just click the participants panel uh, button on the bottom and it will show up. The next thing is the chat. And I think this is maybe one of those places that are one of those things that most of you already know. Um, most people are familiar with using chat in any webinar or, or presentation. So this is where you can chat with everyone or also sometimes um, you can choose who you can chat with. So this is a setting that is either enabled or disabled by your host. Um, you can go to the drop down menu and if you want to chat with everyone, make sure that the blue bar says everyone, because if it says a name, for example, my name as the tech host, uh, you could chat just with me and tell me, hey, I can't see the slides and then I can troubleshoot with you one on one. Um, this is also really important if you want to connect with someone else on the call or share uh, sensitive information like contact info with someone, make sure you select just their name and it will go just to them and nobody else can see it. Um, so this is our chat. And the next thing is um, renaming yourself. So for a lot of people um, that don't use Zoom very often, if that's, uh, if that's you, you might not have a Zoom username. It might just show up as iPhone X or um, dad's computer or whatever you're using. So it's a really good idea to rename yourself and make sure that people know how to, um, how to greet you, how to engage with you, especially if you're uh, engaging in breakout room conversations, people wanna know your name. So there's two ways to do it. This is the easier way. You just find your little video thumbnail in the grid of everyone you click the three dots and then there will be a rename option from the drop down menu. 
And this is where you can add your name, you can add your pronouns, you can add your location, all those uh, types of things. The next button I would like to draw your attention to is the reactions button. Um, and when you click that, this kind of line of emojis pops up. And if you click any of these, the emoji will show up in your little thumbnail just for 20, 30 seconds and then disappear again. So if you want to applaud someone, if you want to give a thumbs up or send a hearts or something is funny, you can use those emojis. If you want to celebrate something, um, you can use these emojis to help the presenter or the other people in your event um, kind of engage with you. And the last thing, actually last two things I want to share in this video is number one, if the presenter is sharing their slides and sometimes the slides, uh, you want to see them real big so you can see all the details. And other times you much rather would see the presenter a lot bigger or maybe even the other people who are attending um, the event. So if you're on, uh, uh, if somebody is sharing their, their slides, you will see that in the middle between the slides and seeing the speaker, there's this little line that you can actually drag to one side or the other, as you can see here in this little animation, until it's just right. So you could have them both at the same size, you could make the presentation really small, you could make the presentation really big, however you prefer uh, it to look for you. And um, this was the last thing for our Zoom 101 sightseeing tour, which is switching between speaker view and gallery view. Um, speaker view means you're just seeing the person who's talking. So whoever is uh, presenting, it most likely will be them. It might be another person that is asking a question. They will be full screen and everybody else will be really small on the top. If you go to gallery view, then you see this little a grid of everybody's Zoom windows. And this is what I prefer looking at when I just want to engage and see who else is there when we're running different activities. And then when I want to focus on the speaker, I go back to speaker view. And um, you just switch that by pressing the little button on the top that I think says now view options. And then you can choose between speaker view and gallery view. So this was my little demonstration of all the different Zoom features that we will be using in my events, uh, in other people's events. So um, if you have any questions about that, let me make sure that I covered everything. Let me know. And hopefully this will help you make your experience a lot better. All right. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye bye.